In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a 3D curve to create a pipe that will connect these two holes. Uh, so it, it might look like this at the end. I will unsuppress the flanges and also the connecting pipe. So let's say that you are in the middle of a designing process. You want to create a pipe quick and easy uh, to see how it will look like. And uh, perhaps you also want to make some changes when it comes to the length of the pipe. Well, you can do that with a 3D curve. So I will suppress the pipe here, select it and press K on the keyboard. So I will use a 3D curve to create that pipe now. So I come up here to 3D curve, select a line, come down here. I will begin here and I will click on the center point of the hole. And then I turn on the tribal, right click the center handle, choose to center point of the hole. Then I grab this handle and drag it out a bit and type 120. I will begin with 120. I can change that later if I want to. Here I type P to add a point. And uh, then I grab this handle, drag it in this direction then right click the handle, choose, let's see now, I have to move the camera a bit, um, like so. Right click, choose edit distance from the flange, 120, and press P to add a point. Select this handle, push a bit, like so, and then I right click to select the center point of the hole, Press P, select this axis, right click to center point of the hole again, then press P again, select this axis, right click to point to the flange, and press P again, and turn off the tri ball, and then press escape. So now we have the 3D curve in place. Then I have to add uh, uh, fillets, so I come up here to select fillet. And I want the um, radius to be 50. Then I select these two curves, and these two as well, and these two, and finally these two. Like so, and then I click OK. So now we have the 3D curve with the fillets. Then I go back to home and go to um, sweep and I will choose create a new standalone part. And here, AutoCAD want me to select a section, but I will select this box, circular profile. And I want the diameter of the pipe to be 60 millimeters, because the hole here in the flange is uh, 50. So the diameter will be 60. Then I right click the path box and delete it, delete the selection, and then when it is empty, I will select this path instead. And I have to type 60 again and hit enter. Now I can click OK, so now we have the pipe in place. Then I select the pipe, I want to create a hole in it. So when it is selected, I will choose hide unselected. You can right click if you want to and choose hide unselected, but I will choose control alt space, that's a, a shortcut. And um, then I will uh, use uh, shell part, open faces will the, be this one and this one. And the thickness of the wall will be five, then I click OK, so now we have a pipe. Then I press shift space to show all. So, now we have the pipe in place and, and perhaps I have to change the pipe a bit. Let's say that I um, just uh, want to see how it will look like and uh, perhaps some parts will interfere with the pipe here. Uh, the, the distance between the, this tank and the pipe is too narrow, so I have to extend the length of the pipe a bit. I can do that by selecting the pipe to see which one it is here in the scene browser 
expand the pipe. I can change the name here to pipe, like so. Then I will expand the sweep feature. Right click the guide curve, edit. And now we have the guide curve here. To extend the guide curve a bit, this part, I will select the this arc and then shift select the others here. That one and also this arc. And then I, I turn on the tribal and move it out a bit. Perhaps um, 120, like so. Turn off the tribal and click OK. So now we have extended the pipe a bit. So perhaps this will be the final result, or the final look of the pipe. So this is a, a very quick way, an easy way to create a pipe to see if it will fit the, the design. So now I want to create a drawing of the pipe. So perhaps I want to create a drawing of this part of the pipe and then also the elbow pipe. To do that I can uh, select the surface, right click, come down here to choose create thicken shape. And uh, we see that the arrow is pointing upward. I have to turn that the other way around. To, I will choose downward. And I want the wall thickness will, to be 5 millimeters. And then I click OK. So now we have a separate part of that uh, pipe. So I will type pipe 2, like so. So now when it is selected, I can press Control alt space and it will look like this. So now I can create a drawing of it. So now if we expand the pipe, we see it is a B-rep. But if you want to, for instance, extend this pipe for any reason, you can do that. If you select this um, side here, so it turns green, you can grab this handle and extend the pipe perhaps uh, 30 millimeters, then deselect. We'll see that now we have an extrude shape here at the end. But you can also do like this. You can select that handle and drag it to this side. Use the shift key to snap it to that side here. And then I will um, uh, select the B wrap feature in the scene browser and delete it. So now Instead of a B-Rep feature, now I have an extrude shape or extrude feature that has a cross section. So I can change the, the look of the geometry in the cross section if I want to. Then I press Shift Spacebar, like so. And if I want to create um, a separate part of the elbow pipe, I can do that. Uh, I will do the same procedure as, as I did with this part. Select the surface, right click. Let's see now, I will move it up a bit, right click. And then uh, create thickened shape. Click downward here in the uh, properties. Thickness will be five, I click OK. And now we have an elbow pipe here. And I can press um, Control Alt Space. So now it will look like this. So in this way, you can separate these parts and create drawings of them. So this is an easy way to create a pipe and to see if it will fit the design and then separate the parts and create drawings of them. So I hope you have found this tutorial useful, how to use a 3D curve to create a flexible pipe.